Hi, so today I want to show you how to use vocal chops in your track to create something like this. Alright, so we'll be using the default FL Studio vocal chops, these Lori Webb ones. So let's choose a new pattern. Basically, when you when you work with vocal chops, you're starting off with the vocals and you make everything around the vocal, so, so everything's gonna be in the key of the vocal track. So let's find out the key of this one. So to do that, uh, just select your master track or any track in the mixer channel and open up an uh, Edison here. And we're just gonna drag this sample into Edison. And click this button here and select detect pitch regions. So Edison is usually pretty correct, so he says it's two notes, F sharp and E. Which means that this vocal chop will work in any key which has the notes F sharp and E. And now let's check out that pattern that I uh, showed you in the music theory video that I made. So I just select the synth track. Yeah, so this is the G major scale. So let's check the notes. It's G, A, B, C, D, E and F sharp. And the vocal sample was F sharp and E, which means it will work in the key of G major. So we're gonna make our song in the key of G major. It's as simple as that. It would work in other keys as well, like D major and things like that. Uh, but I'm, I'm just gonna use G major. Alright, so let's make a vocal pattern. So we're using this one, and we're using this one. So I just drag them here into the channel strip. Now the tempo is around 60 bits per minute, 64. So let me show you how to find the tempo of your vocal track. So let's just press here. and turn on the metronome here. Yeah, so I made it fit, it was like, the default tempo is, I think, 80. So just, so just listen. It does not sit well, like, rhythmically with 80 beats per minute. So you just play with it, you, like, let's go higher, let's try 90. Well, 90 could work. 90 could work, but I wanted a slower song, so I went with 64.
So that's the main melody of my song. And I did another thing. I used two more samples. The shake one. Shake. And the wait one. Wait. Wait. Shake. Now I didn't I did not analyze the pitch of these two samples because they shake. sound Wait. They sound alright. They sound like they are in the same key as these two vocal drops, vocal samples. So we made another pattern with these two vocal chops. Shake, shake, wait. Shake, 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 wait. Shake. And they work really well together. Let's listen to how they sound together. Shake, shake. It sounds really cool to me. So now that we know, now that we've got our main melody, and we know that it's in G G major, so let's write a chord progression around it. So I was messing around with some chords in the key of G major. You can just open the patterns, the diatonic chords in G major, which you can download in my music theory video. So just pick the E minor chord. And then I left the highest notes, G and B, and just changed the root to D. And then I use this chromatic note, C sharp. And then I use the C major 7 chord. And the B minor 7. So let's see how it sounds with the vocals. I think it sounds great. Yeah, so we got the chords. Now we need a beat. So this is what I came up with. I was just using the default samples. Uh, like th these vintage ones. Basically you can just play around. I wanted another chord progression for the drop, so I made another one. This one's really similar, it starts off with the E, and I added a hi-hat. Like a fast trip style hi hat. So basically, you can do whatever you want with the beat and the chords as long as you stay in the key of the vocal track. And you find the key of the vocal track by analyzing the pitch in Edison. By dragging the sample into Edison and clicking detect pitch regions. So I hope this helped. Uh, I was thinking I'm gonna make this into a full song in a week or so and then I'll post it up on YouTube and on my SoundCloud page. So if you like this video make sure to comment, like, share and subscribe to my channel.